Hey, my name is Ariana with MCAT Mastery, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the CAR section on the MCAT, or Critical Analysis and Reasoning Skills. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what CARS is and why CARS is important to you and important to medical schools. Then we're going to talk about, if you're at the beginning of your MCAT prep journey, what you need to do to be successful in CARS and kind of the big picture perspective of CARS, how you're going to attack it, what you need to do. And then from there, you can narrow it down and see about looking at your own CARS style and kind of improving your score. So without further ado, here is what why CARS is important for medical schools and why it should be important to you. Medical schools like CARS because CARS is critical analysis and reasoning skills, like I said. And it shows medical schools that you're able to think critically and reason through information. CARS also shows that you can think objectively about something. A lot of CARS questions are going to be based on being able to read something in the passage and answer the question based only on the information in the passage. And a lot of times a trap question in those same answers will be something based on outside prior knowledge that most people will have. And it's easy to go, oh, that's the correct answer. And what medical schools want to see is can you only use the information in the passage? Because when you're a physician, you're going to have a lot of outside noise. But what you have to be able to do is read something, analyze it, reason through it, and then use that information for your patient in a specific context. Uh, or situation. That's why medical schools really think CARS is important and it gives them a tangible way to assess this. There's not really another way to look at it that we have right now. So CARS is showing those skills, even though it's reading comprehension, it's also showing these other skills that are necessary for a future physician. You should care about CARS because CARS is an MCAT section that you can raise your score on without memorizing. And as you go through your MCAT journey, you're gonna realize how much memorizing you really are gonna have to do. A lot of the MCAT is about understanding to be successful and understanding the test, understanding quite how questions are asked, but you're still going to have to memorize. You can't really escape that. And so CARS gives you a way to boost your score without memorizing. The other thing that's great about CARS for you is that you don't have to spend seven or eight hours a day working on CARS. CARS is best when you spend maybe, you know, an hour a day working on it and doing a little bit each day with cars, slow and steady wins the race 100%. And that's how I would start off looking at your cars uh, kind of outline or your guide, how you wanna approach cars, is the first thing you wanna do is spend a little bit of time each day working on cars. Normally two to three passages is good and you wanna really go slow with cars. The double AMC question packs are gonna be your best friend for getting good at cars, but there aren't a lot of questions. So you don't wanna burn through them all in one sitting. You wanna spend a little bit of time each day doing two or three passages and becoming familiar with how you read the questions, how you answer the questions, if you prefer to highlight things, if you prefer to write things down. And in the beginning, that's really what you're gonna to wanna to do. I wouldn't even time myself in the beginning because I would want to see, okay, can I just think through this even if it takes me several minutes? Can I understand what the question writers are really asking and what they're looking for? And once you get good at that in the second half of your MCAT prep, then you can work on speed and timing and can I answer this question in a certain amount of time so that I don't run out of time on the MCAT. And when you're going through those passages, especially in the beginning, what you want to do is with each paragraph, you want to make like a little note or a little summary or highlight important tidbits. You don't want to highlight too much because then everything is going to be highlighted yellow and you don't know what's important. So you really just want to focus on highlighting things that you might find important in the passage or just like a keyword that you think could show back up later that if a question was asked relating to it, you would know where to find it. Then after you've read through it, you've made a little note or highlighted for each paragraph. Before you look at any questions, you want to write down what the main idea of the paragraph is or of the passages. You don't want to write a whole paragraph on it. You want it to be one or two sentences of what the main idea of the passage is. This is what I got from it. This is what the author is trying to say. This is the side the author is taking or what the author believes. And you have to do this before you even look at questions, because once you look at questions, you're going to get tainted by what the questions are saying. And the first question might be, well, what is the main idea of this passage? Or what is the author saying? And a lot of times the first question and the first answer out of the answers given is going to be a trap question that seems so correct and you want to choose it really bad, but it's not right. 
So go slow in the beginning, make sure you're thinking about what the main idea is and what is the author really trying to convey to you? What do they want you to understand? Another little tip that helped me is when I'm looking at the answers, sometimes it helps to work from the bottom up because a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, A is a trap question that's so easy to fall for. So if you start from D, it makes your brain D up. It makes your brain kind of think a little more about what's being said or what am I reading? So those are my tips for approaching cars and why you should care about cars. If you need some one-on-one help finding your own personal style or how you want to approach cars, please click the link below. I am happy to tutor you and work with you so that you can achieve a great car score and show medical schools that you can do critical analysis and reasoning. And if you like these tips and want more info, you can also go to MCATmastery.net and find our cars guide and these tips plus so many more in there that will help you attack cars section and do really well. Thanks and I hope that helps you some. See you soon.